Welcome to my store. Hey. Aaron's playing in the water. I was putting away the trap. Putting away the trap? Did you put any bait in it? Why not just dump bait in the hole? Okay. So put that down there. And maybe we'll come back just at the end of the series and uh, see if there's anything in it. Won't that be exciting, son? Very. Okay. So, what do we have here? Well, that's my cactus. That's a Dracaena. This is a tomato clownfish. He's in a tank filtered by a uh, penguin... 350, I think. We use this also for storing keto. Yeah, it's a 350. Yeah. Nice little clownfish in there. I think I might put the dog face puffer in there too. You think that would be cool? But that means another tank I have to feed. You gotta feed this guy. Why? Uh, what's the difference? Because then I have to come upstairs to the shrimp. Oh, my poor little boy's legs. Okay, this is a freshwater community tank. It's got uh, red hook silver dollar, parrot cichlids. You can see the reflection of the ship's wheel. Barbs. Aaron, make it look like you're driving a boat, son. That's actually a pretty cool effect. That's Hortensia's uh, ship steering mechanism. Okay. So, back to this. Tinfoil um, barbs. Yeah, tinfoil barbs. There's a big shark right in the middle of the frame. Um, There's the, a the new stuff. next to the, the clown loach. And yeah, there's the clown loach. There's a Slovini cichlid. Slovini? What's a Slovini, son? Slovini. Slovani. What fish are you describing, son? The one that's on the tag. Well, show it to me. Right there. No, show it to me in the tank. Is it that one? Is it that one? Okay, people. Don't laugh at my boy. He's trying his very best. I don't know fresh water, so I'm judging you. I judge you all the time. And there's a pleco in here. And what's and this uh, fish a... with the long whiskers? Something, I, I want to see it's a cori. Uh, you want a what? Say it's a cori. And what characteristics make you think it's a cori? It looks like a cori, but it's a lot bigger. It doesn't look anything like a cori, son. You told me one time that there was one upstairs that was like a type of cori, but it's bigger. When? A while ago. Was it when we still had the Salvini cichlid before we sold them? <laughs> well, what is it? Pamela Deus Angelicus. It's a catfish. Yes. It's a spotted pim. Spotted pim. So, uh, yeah, we got to put trays underneath them because uh, otherwise they're not doing so well. So this is our koi pond. A little waterfall rock. And the Mingarelia, also known as memorabilia if you watch all our videos. Cactus. What do you have on your arm? I have poo, son. Poo. Oh, you got poo all over your hair. What's most likely on my arm, son? Duckweed. Duckweed. Okay. And then in here, this is the tank that had the octopus in it for, uh... Aaron, walking in frame. Did you know you made that sound like it was about to break? Did you know that this has been shifted quite a bit? From what? Look where it is on that tile, and look where it is on that tile. It was never crooked, it was always straight. Okay, Somebody so... Moved it. Did you get filled with rage one day and just fling it to the side by inches? Um, Full of rage. Um, it's that red hair. Aaron, I saw you eating like 10 minutes ago. Well, you're eating again. 
Okay. Well, there's a little skunk clownfish. Oh, there's two of them actually. And there's a Wallace basslet back there. I can see him better from over here. Well, then you take the camera. Uh, yeah. I know, but I don't I can see know. him out here. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, he's over here again. He's up here. Look there. See him, see him, see him. Go on, go on. Isn't this exciting? No. And then... Up there... There's something. I don't know what it is. Ring light? Yeah, that's the ring light. He's been here over a year, you know. It's too dirty over here. Okay, son. Why is the tank not cleaned? Because I didn't clean it. And what were you telling me like 10, 15 minutes ago? That I clean everything. Did you do a lot of cleaning? I do. Look at the store. Okay. People, does this look clean to you? Aaron? When I come in and you've been here, then this counter, I can't sit on it because it's covered in stuff. There's stuff all everywhere back there. Nothing's put away. There's garbage all over the floor. There's leaves at the door. No, I swept up the leaves the other day. No, Shelly did. I swept them up the Shelly other day. Shelly did. Okay, she maybe did another different day, but I swept them up one day. You did too? Well, why do we have leaves out front? The tree's not very big. Like, come on. A little wee tiny tree for a lot of leaves. Okay. So what do we have in this tank, son? I don't know. Bumblebee gobies. See him there? We have this tank set up brackish water. Half fresh, half salt. What's a bumblebee goby noted for? Being brackish water. <laughs> And it's also noticed for being peaceful. Why aren't you more peaceful, son? It's that rage. It's that rage. Okay. And then back here, what do we have? The empty, empty. And then in here is the... Where are they? Okay, this is a tank with crayfish that know how to hide really well. Um, grab some of the... There's a black one and there's a red one. Grab the pellets and uh, throw them in. Okay, so we'll see you on the next video and uh, hopefully a crayfish will be out soon.